So hi, my name is Henry Smith. I'm a master's student in the Extension Plant Pathology Lab here at UK. And today I'm out here at our spindle top research farm and our hemp research trial we have going on. And this trial behind me is a planting date trial. So you'll see plants of various heights and such. But specifically in this video, I want to talk about one of the most common diseases hemp growers will encounter, which is septoria leaf spot. And it is caused by the pathogen septoria cannabis specifically and also we feel that there also might be other septoria species that may be associated with this and this disease will come in early in the season compared to other leaf spots it'll start around this time of year late july beginning of august and it'll begin in the lower canopy and then it'll work its way up slowly so the disease starts on the lower leaves and it'll start with these small spots with a yellow halo around them. And then in times of high humidity, these spots will produce little black dots that you can see, which are where the conidia are dispersed into the environment and go around and cause even more disease on more leaves. So right now, looking at these plants, they're pretty healthy. We've had a lot of a long period of drought which has kept our humidity down, which is good for disease management. So in times of really high humidity and excess rain, this disease is going to be very detrimental. It'll also result in complete leaf drop of the lower canopy in severe cases. So septoria leaf spot, it really comes in and starts on the lower canopy. So these plants look seemingly healthy right now on the exterior, but once you really get down and look, into the lower canopy of these dense in these plants that are planting a dense block you'll see these leaf spots starting to form and these these diseased leaves will slowly start rising up into the lower canopy and eventually these leaves themselves will just simply drop like those are almost completely released from the plant now here are some up close images of septoria leaf spot of hemp give you a better idea of the symptoms uh, we're talking about when it comes to this disease. So to your left, you'll see septoria leaf spot. And one of the major symptoms that you can use to help diagnose this disease is a prominent yellow halo that surrounds these spots. So whenever we think about leaf spots of hemp, there's really three main players in Kentucky. That would be septoria leaf spot, which we're talking about here, bipolaris leaf spot, and then Cercospora leaf spot. And this prominent yellow halo is unique to septoria leaf spot. It can really help you differentiate uh, the three major leaf spots. Then to the right here, you see a more up close image of a younger uh, leaf spot uh, forming. So you can see that yellow halo is very faint right now. But as this spot continues to grow, that yellow uh, halo will continue to grow in intensity as well. But also another thing I want to point out that will help you identify this disease is within the center of these light tan uh, to brown leaf spots, you'll see these black ray specks. These are the fungal fruiting bodies that it'll use to eject spores into the air whenever environmental conditions are favorable. So seeing these black specks coupled with a yellow halo is a very strong indication of septoria leaf spot. And this can help you identify this disease in the field. So one of the biggest factors influencing disease severity of septoria leaf spot is humidity and leaf wetness. So over here, you'll see hemp plants planted in a dense block, which is pretty common for grain fiber dual purpose production. And we see a lot more heavy disease in these plants where the plants are so close together that air cannot get through and dry out those leaves quickly. And then over here you see these are row, uh, plants planted in a row design, which is traditional for a CBD. And we see the disease is not as severe in this type of production. It still is present, but it's not as severe because the air can get in between these plants and really get into that canopy and dry out the leaves quicker. So again, septory leaf spot is one of the most common diseases hemp girls will encounter when producing in Kentucky. And this disease is really influenced by relative humidity and leaf wetness. And we see the disease really starts impacting plants in mid to late July. So 
we encourage growers to really get those plants in the ground earlier, get them established, that when the disease rolls in, it does not knock out all the leaves and start your plant. So what we see with septoria is it comes in, it knocks down some of the lower canopy, but most often it is not effect affecting your total year yield loss in terms of cannabinoids. So another thing in terms of management, we really want to encourage spacing between plants as much as possible to get that airflow to dry out the leaves and reduce that total amount of leaf wetness. And also we've seen some hints of cultivar resistance among our various variety trials and that research is still ongoing. Thank you very much.